Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we are going to talk more about motion along a straight line. And this time, we will explore the other parameters of a straight line motion, which are the speed and the velocity. Now first, let's define the following terms. Speed is a scalar quantity, which composed of a magnitude and a unit. Its SI unit is meter per second. The formula for speed is distance traveled divided by time. On the other hand, velocity is a vector quantity, which composed of a magnitude, a unit, and a direction. Its SI unit is the same as with the speed, which is meter per second. This is the same as speed, but with direction. Now let's have an example. Runner A run in a race. He completed a 100 meter dash in just 25 seconds. The question is, what is his speed? What is his velocity? The answer will be, his speed is 100 meters divided by 25 seconds, which is equal to 4 meters per second. And his velocity is the same with his speed, so that gives us 4 meters per second going to the right. This means that runner A covers 4 meters in 1 second from the starting point up to the finish line. But in reality, runner A might run fast at the starting portion and then slows down a little bit and run fast again. To settle this dilemma, here we introduce another terminology that is average speed and average velocity. Average speed is just the to total distance traveled divided by the total time, whereas the average velocity is just the displacement divided by the total time. Let us do by having this as an example. Suppose runner A saw a barricade along his way, so he decided to take another path. But the path he takes measures 200 meters and took him 80 seconds. Hence, to compute for his average speed, we have 200 meters divided by 80 seconds that is equal to 2.5 meters per second. On the other hand, to compute for his average velocity, we have 100 meters divided by 80 seconds that is equal to 1.25 meters per second. That is the concept of average velocity. There is another thing about speed and velocity. These are called instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity. In calculus, it is expressed in the formula as the derivative of the position x at given time t. Or in layman's term, it is the speed or velocity at given time t. To end this video, let me leave you with an interesting question. Suppose runner A ran in a race and finished the 1,000 meter dash in 8 minutes at his position, what was his average velocity? Let us check your answer. This was runner A's starting point and finish line as well. They were both the same. Runner A went to the trap and eventually finished at the same point where he started. Hence, displacement is 0 meter. To sum up, the average velocity of runner A in the race is 0 meter divided by 8 minutes, that is, 0 meters per second. I hope you got it right. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.